God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Wherever you are, Lord, there is mercy, there is truth. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. With my chosen one, I have made a covenant. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord. The assembly of your holy ones proclaims your truth. For who in the skies can compare with the Lord? Or who is like the Lord among the sons of God? a God to be feared in the counsel of the Holy Ones, great and dreadful to all around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is your equal? You are mighty, O Lord, and truth is your garment. It is you who rule the sea in its pride. It is you who still the surging of its waves. You crushed the monster Rahab and killed it, scattering your foes with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, the world is yours. It is you who founded the earth and all it holds. It is you who created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon shout with joy at your name. Yours is a mighty arm, O Lord. Your hand is strong, your right hand ready. Justice and right are the pillars of your throne. Love and truth walk in your presence. Happy the people who acclaim such a king, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. For you, O Lord, are the glory of their strength. By your favor it is that our might is exalted. For our ruler is in the keeping of the Lord, our king in the keeping of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wherever you are, Lord, Lord, there there is is mercy, there there is truth. truth. When the Son of God came into this world, he was born of David's line. Of old you spoke in a vision. To your friends the prophets you said, I have set the crown on a warrior. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. The enemy shall never outwit him, nor the evil man oppress him. I will beat down his foes before him, and smite those who hate him. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name his might shall be exalted. I will stretch out his hand to the sea and his right hand as far as the river. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me, and I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. I will keep my love for him always. For him my covenant shall last. I will establish his dynasty forever, make his throne endure as the heavens. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When the Son of God came came into into this world, world, he was was born born of David's David's line. Once for all I swore to my servant David, his dynasty shall never fail. If his sons forsake my law, and refuse to walk as I decree. And if ever they violate my statutes, refusing to keep my commands, then I will punish their offenses with the rod. Then I will scourge them on account of their guilt. But I will never take back my love. My truth will never fail. I will never violate my covenant, nor go back on the word I have spoken. Once for all I have sworn by my holiness, I will never lie to David. His dynasty shall last forever. In my sight, his throne is like the sun. Like the moon, it shall endure forever, a faithful witness in the skies. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Once for all, I swore to my, my servant, servant David, David, his, his dynasty, dynasty shall never fail. When we listen to your word, our minds are filled with light. It is the lowly heart that understands. From the book of the prophet Isaiah, Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help, who depend upon horses, who put their trust in chariots because of their number, and in horsemen because of their combined power, but look not to the Holy One of Israel, nor seek the Lord. Yet he too is wise and will bring disaster. He will not turn from what he has threatened to do. He will rise up against the house of the wicked and against those who help evildoers. The Egyptians are men, not God. Their horses are flesh, not spirit. When the Lord stretches forth his hand, the helper shall stumble, the one helped shall fall, and both of them shall perish together. See, a king will reign justly, and princes will rule rightly. Each of them will be a shelter from the wind, a retreat from the rain. They will be like streams of water in a dry country, like the shade of a great rock in a parched land. The eyes of those who see will not be closed. The ears of those who hear will be attentive. The flighty will become wise and capable, and the stutterers will speak fluently and clearly. No more will the fool be called noble, nor the trickster be considered honorable. For the fool speaks foolishly, planning evil in his heart, how to do wickedness, to speak perversely against the Lord, to let the hungry go empty, and the thirsty be without drink. And the trickster uses wicked trickery, planning crimes, how to ruin the poor with lies, and the needy when they plead their case. But the nobleman plans noble things, and by noble things he stands. The eyes of those who see shall not be clouded, and the ears of those who hear shall listen attentively. The heart of the foolish shall be open to knowledge. I will raise up to David a righteous branch. As king he shall rule and be wise. The heart of the foolish shall be open to knowledge. From a treatise against heresies by St. Irenaeus, bishop and martyr. There is one God, who by his word and wisdom created all things and set them in order. His word is our Lord, Jesus Christ, who in this last age became man among men to unite end and beginning, that is, man and God. The prophets, receiving the gift of prophecy from this same word, foretold his coming in the flesh, which brought about the union and communion between God and man ordained by the Father. From the beginning, the word of God prophesied that God would be seen by men and would live among them on earth. He would speak with his own creation and be present to it, bringing it salvation and being visible to it. He would free us from the hands of all who hate us, that is, from the universal spirit of sin, and enable us to serve him in holiness and justice all our days. Man was to receive the Spirit of God and so attain to the glory of the Father. The prophets then foretold that God would be seen by men. As the Lord himself says, Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. In his greatness and inexpressible glory, no one can see God and live, for the Father is beyond our comprehension. But in his love and generosity and omnipotence, he allows even this, to those who love him, that is, even to see God, as the prophets foretold. For what is impossible to man is possible to God. 
By his own powers, man cannot see God. But God will be seen by men because he wills it. He will be seen by those he chooses, at the time he chooses, and in the way he chooses. For God can do all things. He was seen of old through the Spirit in prophecy. He is seen through the Son by our adoption as his children. And he will be seen in the kingdom of heaven in his own being as the Father. The Spirit prepares man to receive the Son of God. The Son leads him to the Father, and the Father, freeing him from change and decay, bestows the eternal life that comes to everyone from seeing God. As those who see light are in the light, sharing its brilliance, so those who see God are in God, sharing his glory, and that glory gives them life. To see God is to share in life. I will raise up for them a prophet, and I will place my words in his mouth. He will tell them all that I command. I am sending my own beloved son. He is truly the prophet who is to come into the world. He will tell them all that I command. Let us pray. Father, may the coming celebration of the birth of your son bring us your saving help and prepare us for eternal life. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. <laughs> 